Well, good day, Tubes. How is she hanging? Well, it's time for another mail day from all the questions you guys have sent me in. And remember, if you want to send me a question, it's BillQA at Yahoo.com. The thing's in the bottom thingy there if you want to send me a message. Email. So we got a few to look through today. Oh, geez. Hang on a sec here. I'm messing things up. Uh, so this is from August 24th right to 27th. So... Anyways, the first one I got here is from Carter Frost. He says, hey Bill, I was wondering if you've ever been pulled over by the police while driving and if you have ever, and what you were doing, what I was doing. I have been pulled over twice for speeding. One actually was coming towards us. And I guess they can tell how fast you're going by the radar thing. It works that way, I guess. <laughs> and. Uh, he nailed me, um, reduced the fine a bit. They always seem to reduce the fine a bit, which is nice of them, but um, uh, they really shouldn't, you know, because yeah, I was speeding, well, I should pay the fine. So anyways, they always reduce the price in Canada. They just kind of almost let you away with murder here, pretty much, anyways, uh, it seems. Anyways, their justice system needs some work here, I think. But anyways, uh, yeah, pulled over for speeding twice. Uh, one, like, like I say, the guy was coming at me. And uh, he, he nailed me there. And uh, the other one, I was just touring down a road. I think it was 60. I was doing like 72. And there was a pretty brand new young girl cop there nailed me, <laughs> gave me a ticket too. So uh, I've been pulled over for anything else. Oh, there's a good one here actually. When I was, the kids were really young, like, like baby-ish, babies, still in car seats. Uh, I think it was Laura just wasn't settling down one night. So we... Uh, Went for a drive and we were up at a town north of us here and I'm swerving to miss their potholes and like man cover hole thingies that are like sunk into the ground like a foot. He pulls me over, sir, you've been drinking? I'm like, no, dude, I'm trying to, you know, miss all your holes in the road here. Oh, well, well what are you doing out? I'm like, well, daughter wouldn't sleep and we're trying to take her out for a car. I did get her sleepy. So, oh, well, okay. So he was almost like, well, you maybe shouldn't do that. I'm like, Whatever. So he never gave us a ticket, but he thought I was drunk, and I don't drink. So, anyways, just water. Water. Adam's Ale. Water. Um, so that's about the only time I've been pulled over. Um, I'm still waiting to get pulled over in the slingshot. Not to, not for speeding, just for... Sarah actually got pulled over once for in the slingshot for... The guy just wanted to see it. It's like, dude. Dude. Really? So, yeah. But, uh, no, that's about it. I'm pretty responsible driver and sometimes I do drive a little bit too fast the one time that the guy pulled us over when he was coming at us we were heading to the racetrack so I was racing my blood and pulled me over <laughs> so yeah no that's about it though okay next one is from Lauren oh geez I just lost your message we'll get back no open no my goodness there I got her Lauren says good day Bill I had a, just had a question about your old GMC Sierra that you had I always noticed that you had a Newfoundland deco on the rear of your glass. I often wondered about it. Thanks. Uh, that was on there when I got it, and it had a it had a cap on it. Yeah, it had a cap on it, and uh, I just didn't want to take the cap off to peel the sticker off. But eventually, I think I did, and I took the sticker off because I'm not from Newfoundland. Never actually even been there. Um, but that's that was the reason behind that. I guess whoever owned it before was. From there, from there by, and he wanted to stick her on there, Ben. So I can't speak Newfie too well, but anyways. Uh, next one's from Michael, and he says, uh, "Hey, Bill, my name is Michael. I'm from something per Dido, per Dido, Key, Florida, maybe." My question is, uh, will you be willing to play? More GTA, really loved the videos, but just it, uh, also to say thanks for the content and never really disappointed with your videos. Uh, GTA, like GTA 5? I was actually kind of thinking of seeing if some of the older GTAs might run on my computer. I don't know if they like the video card or not or whatever, but uh, you know, like GTA oh, San Andreas, that was not too bad. Graphics are terrible now compared to now though, but I mean, you gotta live with that part, right? But uh, GTA 5 might jump on GTA on Someday maybe do another GTA Sunday or something. That might be cool and just kind of whip around and see what's going on. Uh, the problem is with the GTA, there's a lot of people hacking on there now. And it's they just don't seem to be doing anything about it, keeping up to them. So it's like, I don't really want to be on there. <laughs> you know, and we played through the single player on GTA 5. So 
the new GTA comes out, I might do that, but... Alright, so the next one here is from Wyatt. It says, hey, Bill, my name's Wyatt, and I'm a big fan of Farm Sim Saturday. Uh, thanks, bud. That's awesome. Uh, I was wondering what uh, your three favorite tractor brands were, and of course, uh, John Deere, obviously. <laughs> John Deere, obviously, and uh, uh, the best, but what are your top three reliable tractor brands? Well, I really like John Deere, of course. A lot of John Deere stuff myself. Um, the Ford stuff's pretty good. You know, a tractor's a tractor, really. A car's a car, a truck's a truck. As long as it's reliable, who really cares what it is, right? Um, I like the Kubota stuff, although I've never had anything other than my Mini X, but it seems like it's fairly solid, good machine. Uh, I know a guy, he just actually bought a, oh, what model was it? It's uh, one of the TLBs, Kubota TLBs, like my John Deere TLB kind of thing. And um, there's a couple of things on it that I'm like, ooh. I don't know if I like that. Like one is you can't run it below a certain RPM or the exhaust system will shut the machine down apparently from what he was telling me. You got to run it like 2,000, 2,500 RPM when you're using it or it, the exhaust system will like freak out or whatever and it doesn't like that to keep everything hot and running through I guess right and burning everything off again. So I'm like Ooh, I don't know if I like that because I don't, I don't run mine much more than 1,500 maybe when I'm back on because everyone and they're like, too fast and I'm all over the place and I don't like that so and it does have of course uh, his machine has the def system on it it's part of it part of that the diesel exhaust fluid system so I'm like mm, I'm gonna keep mine as long as I can but uh, anyway so um, those are the three major brands you know what I can't really say anything else because I've never tried anything else uh, you know I've got a few Ford tractors pardon me I've got a few John Deere things of course and uh, I mean they've always treated me pretty good there's one sitting out there poor guy uh, needing some more work uh, but no I've honestly not done much with um, too much else so now I will say one thing I know guys the guys that do my concrete work for my foundation they've got a new Holland and from looking at their machine I would never buy one ever never buy one of them the blue ones the blue new Hollands they got it brand new and have had so much problems with it. Um, one is, so oh, what happened? There was something, seals going. It was under warranty, so they had to get in for seals. Uh, what else was there? There was, uh, oh, he, the one guy that runs it all the time says it seems like it's progressively losing its strength for lifting and power. So I say, well, how many hours you got on it? I can't remember what he told me. He's like, well, why don't you just try doing like a hydraulic fluid change? So they did that. Took the uh, filters off. And there was one that's like on mine, which is like a re re-cleanable filter. And he says it was just full of like metal shavings. I'm like, well, that's not good. <laughs> so, and I don't know. Like, I can't say yes or no, good or bad with them. But from what I've seen with them guys, I would say not good. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you, sir. Uh, next one is from, uh, where was it here, AJ says, hey Bill, hey there Bill, it's Alan from New York, been around since the Polaris and the Astro Van days, holy, that's a long time ago, how's Iron Man doing, um, I haven't actually talked to him for a wee bit, same as he was before, you know, he's, he's off work permanently, I guess now, and, uh, can't work, and, uh, He's got, uh, well, I don't know if I've told you, but he's got PCB poisoning from his work. So I can't really tell you more than that because I don't know any more than that. So, but um, I haven't really talked to him too much because uh, he, poor guy, he's up like all night, hacking, coughing. He's always got, like he's stuffed, like he's always got a cold. Uh, what else was there? He says he coughs so much that he ends up having to run to the bathroom. It's so bad. So I'm like... He's up all night doing this, so I know I don't really want to pester him in the day because maybe that's the only time he gets some sleep. I, I don't know. So, but uh, uh, have you ever ran a Gravely machines? My stepdad had a Gravely with a couple of attachments. I think one was a mower. Boy, I can't remember what else he had. A couple of attachments, but God, it was like a wrestling, wrestling all the time. That thing. So he ended up just selling it. Got rid of it. 
Uh, he says I have a few myself with carbs, with cabs, sorry, uh, and plows, snow blowers, and mowers. So there you go. They add a lot of different things for those. So, anyways, there's uh, hopefully it answers your question. So thanks a lot for sending that in. Next one is from Austin, and in Austin, I got to pause for a minute because I need a drink. Vodka. No, it's water. Better save some for the fish. Oh, that was going down good. <coughs> no, it is water. I'm just kidding. It is water. So this is from Austin. It says, what is your favorite thing to do? My name is Austin Zeman from Pennsylvania. My favorite thing to do. Boy, oh boy. I really do like running my tractors and equipment with attachments of some sort. Plowing the fields or something or to cultivate. And I really enjoyed that short little one we did in our garden here this year. Um, we actually got a plow day coming up, so I got to get this tractor going here again and uh, get her, get her, get her ready to plow. So uh, I got some bearings here. I got new bearings for it today. I don't have the ones I ordered. I ordered some bearings from uh, FixThatFord.com, and they haven't even sent me an email to tell me that it's left their place yet. So I'm like, oh, I'm running out of time here. So I just went and got new bearings. And the other two on the other side weren't too bad, so I'm going to grease them back up and stuff them back in. I don't have seals, but I'm just going to grease the crap out of her and hope for all the best. But uh, whenever I get the new bearings, it comes with the new seals and those new spindles and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's sort of my favorite thing to do. Um, I enjoy driving when I'm not getting pulled over. <laughs> no, I enjoy driving, although now it's... It's getting ridiculous here for holy jumping. It's just terrible here now. Um, what else do I like working on things? You know, tractor for instance. Enjoy working on that, getting it running again and fixing it all up. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that answers your question. Thank you, sir. All right, next one is from Dale. And he says, hi, Bill. What happened to the video when you drove the backhoe across town to the reno house to level the driveway. I like that video. I would love to get a John Deere 110 TLB. I have two Kubota tractors. One is a 2013 Kubota L5740 and a 1994 L2650. I also have two Ford 9Ns. Ooh. And a Ford NAA and a 1950 John Deere A. Wow, you must have a big shop. <laughs> or somewhere inside to keep all these. Um, I love best ring with the tractors of all kinds. So what happened to that video? I just took it down. I don't know. It was just... I took it down. <laughs> no explanation really, but... Their uh, reno was all good and stuff and uh, made a little video. You know, what was it doing the driveway? Level the driveway, yeah. And funny enough, they're finally actually going to get their driveway paved soon. That's been a while ago, hasn't it? So, But uh, no, I just took it down. I don't know why. Um, okay, so hopefully that answers your questions. So that's a lot of tractors you got too. Holy cow. That's pretty awesome. Uh, this one is from Dale. Is that Dale Wallace? Um, hi, Bill. Dale from Illinois, Illinois, USA. Uh, some YouTube videos that you should check out is Tractor Time with Tim. Actually, there's um, a video on there, a few. I'll be a few back now on his channel there that. Uh, Oh, a buddy of mine that we play Rust with um, had his, um, actually it's a New Holland, Blue New Holland. <laughs> he says he's had no problems with his, but, and he uh, had a front mount mower, where the loader would go, mower, for mowing down like big tree thingies and saplings and crap like that, like a bush brush mower kind of thing. It's pretty sweet, so, but that's on that uh, Tractor Time with Tim, it's on his channel, so. Uh, so check out uh, that and Outdoors with the Morgans. Uh, they have all kinds of outdoor projects with tractors and other equipment. Reminds me of some of your older videos. The first video I ever watched of yours was when you welded the steel plate and on the teeth of the backhoe bucket and used it to scrape mud. I sucked after that. Holy cow, like you mean the one in the front yard when we had our well dug like 55 years ago? That's a long time ago. But that's probably what you're meaning. Uh, but anyways, I think I answered everything. Yeah, so those are pretty good channels too. Um, I have seen uh, uh, the Tractor Time with Tim. I've seen a few of his videos too. So, uh, But anyways, Dale, hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for sending it in. Okay, we're getting these silly ads on here now, and it's like, really? Now you're messing me up. 
So this one's from TJ. He says, does your new drone have IR? Have you flown your drone any at night? Um, IR, I don't really know. Actually, I never remember reading about that. And night, no, I haven't yet. I've actually only had it out once so far. And uh, it wasn't set in the settings to go into multiple flight modes. So it was actually just um, oh, the safe mode or whatever they call it. Not safe mode. Uh, there's tripod mode, which is like really slow. You can really feather things. And then there's, uh, we'll say the regular mode and then sport mode. Well, I was in sport mode, but it didn't let it go into sport mode. So I didn't realize that, but it should be all right now. But we got to get out and do a flying Friday soon because it's starting to get dark early now and cuts my flying time down a whole bunch. Uh, do you let the QA questions before you make the video or just read them as you do the video? Uh, I read through them because sometimes they'll, I'll get a trick one that says, oh, blah, 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 blah. We really love your channel. We'd like to, we'd like to put ads on your channel. I'm like, really? <laughs> get rid of you. So I do read all of them all before I kind of do them. So, and I read yours too. So thank you, sir, for sending that in. The next one is from Ethan. He says, hello, Bill. I'm Ethan, and I watch from Cornwall, UK. We have a Cornwall in Ontario. Go away, you mosquito. Uh, I love the Steam Tractor Show videos. Me too, and I haven't been to go to any of this year. I'm so mad. Once I get this tractor here fixed up, though, and get it mobile again, we're going to make our own tractor video. Screw the COVID. I'm making my own tractor video. <laughs> my own tractor show. Um, I've been watching since the old family farm on FS13. Keep up the great work. It says, my question is your opinion on the new Holland Fords. Well, there you go. You got a bit of that already, actually. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite model of new Holland? Don't really have any. I can't say because I've never really driven one. So I don't really, I can't compare anything that way. So. Uh, he says, by the way, I own a Ford w TW25. Best regards from Ethan. Yeah, so the the uh, new Holland stuff, I don't know. I, I can't comment on that because I really don't know. But the one that these guys have been running, I would never buy one myself. But anyways. Um, anyways. Um, I think I answered all your questions. Oh, TW25. Yeah, that's all right. Good for you, man. So we'll go to the next question. So thank you for letting that in. Next one is from Michael. And he says, hey, Bill, long time viewer. Uh, I've always wondered whether you own or rent your house that you live in. No biggie, just curious. We actually rent it. It's part of my job. It comes with my job. So, and it works out pretty good. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, it comes with my job. But I do pay rent on it. So it's kind of kind of weird. It comes with a job, but I pay rent. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, so next one is from, and I'm not sure, I think John. It's in this email. I don't know if it's actually his name, but John, we'll say, John. Uh, what does Go Pens Go 291 do for a job? He's a hitman for the mafia. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, porn star. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> He's going to shoot me. He, uh, he does restaurant service stuff. He's got a new job, actually. It's hard to get playing with him because he works a lot of nights. When I'm kind of ready to play, he's like, no, I'm at work. I'm like, oh, sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> so but then he'll be off for like three days. So <laughs> porn star, <laughs> he's going to shoot me. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, would you visit North Dakota sometime? I would love to if I had a passport. If I had the time off. I had the money to do that. And... Um, yeah, I'd love to actually tour all the states down there and see them all before I croak, at least, you know. I'd love to just start at one side, like up by us, and just kind of zigzag, you know, one side of the country to the other, east coast to west coast, till I get down to Florida, and then home. It would take probably a couple of years, but I think that'd be pretty cool. So, North Dakota would be in there, eventually. <laughs> so, we've only got one question left from Braden. Says, uh, so hey Bill, it's me again. <laughs> and during the winter, you said the snow plow and bolt to push dirt. So you gave me an idea. Why don't you build? Oh, I see what you mean. And use the snow plow blade to push dirt. You can't do that, unfortunately, because of the cutting edge. If it hits something, it flips back, and it like flips back this way. So you got like your your plow 
this way and the cutting edge is stay down here so if it hits something it flips the, the cutting edge back so you can't really plow with too much hard stuff with that it's kind of meant to do that so it doesn't rip it apart or wreck it right um why don't you build a dozer bulldozer blade for the 110 uh ps can you send me a deco please or decal um you didn't send me your email your mailing address bud um <laughs> You, uh, yeah, so the, the 110, because it's hydraulic drive, really probably wouldn't have enough push power to kind of push a blade like that. Um, sometimes it even struggles a little bit with the bucket. So it's not really meant for pushing like dozer stuff. So you got to kind of do what the, the bucket will do. And, uh, and yeah, so. But anyways, Lee, hooray, it says, hooray, inbox is zero. <laughs> How rude is that? But anyways, so that's all the questions for today. So if you got a question you want to send me, Send it to Bill, Q-A, like Q as in like Q-A at yahoo.com. And uh, send me questions. I'll answer questions. I love doing it. It's awesome. So you guys have a good day. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later.